Hello, this is Lair Bear from the uh, Lair Bear Lair. And some people have been interested in knowing how the rotating PC works and recommended doing something to upload to YouTube. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, this is the powertrain of the rotating PC. It uh, includes a motor, which uh, you know, which supplies the uh, the power, obviously. Um, gears, these are spiral bevel gears. Uh, the bearings, the green things at the end, the pole, which is kind of like the axle on a car, and um, in this case, uh, the slip rings are on there, although not really. Well, they're part of the powertrain in that they're required to transfer the, the signals and power. Um, let's start with the motor. The motor is a um, high torque, uh, but low velocity spinning motor. It needs to be needed to be heavy duty in order to move around all the components that are on this uh, the steel pole um, and uh, crank these heavy industrial gears. Uh, it just it's a bipolar motor, so it can spin in both directions by uh, reversing the uh, the wires, which I have a switch on the front I.O. for, so you can rotate it in both directions. Um, that's the plate that mounts it onto the frame. These are the uh, the spiral bevel gears, which are industrial art themselves, just it's gorgeous uh, beveled gears that, that uh, turn the whole thing around. They uh, mesh together when it's together. Right now, they're slightly separated. Um, and uh, they are a one-to-one -one ratio. So the, the, the pole spins at exactly the rate that the, um, um, that the motor is, is spinning. And um, yeah, then there's the, uh, the pole itself, the axle of it. Um, it has holes for uh, for all the wires to come out that are required to run the PC uh, the of course they wouldn't be able to um, run the PC while it's rotating without twisting and and creating quite a knot if it weren't for the slip rings here on the end this one here is a um, blue slip ring it is a Ethernet and signal slip ring it has one gigabit ethernet line on it. You can see the connector there. And it has 10 signal wires that go through. And those are what, in this case there are 10 of them, so I had to make a decision about what I would send signals into. Um, and I chose the HD audio and the power switch. Um, that's all going to the front I.O. of course, and you can see here, that's where, that's mounted in the front I.O. Those are the HD audio jacks, and here are the the ends for um, that'll hook on to the power switch. There are actually two slip rings here. The big blue one is uh, through bore, which means that the um, I've extended the um, the center pole, the rotating center pole, up into its bore right here, and clamped it on, so that that's what um, gets the wires spinning at the same rate. Um, that the center pole is moving at, which is the rate that the motor is driving it at. Um, however, in order to get all the signals in that I needed, uh, most most uh, companies, a big company, would buy one slip ring, a custom one, and pay a lot of money for it, and um, just and have a, a much simpler solution than I have, but um, not a big company, and um, I can't afford that. So I added a display port slip ring on top. This is the um, the stator side of the stationary side of the display port slip ring. You can see it goes out here. Um, it is a um, a regular slip ring in the sense that it has one single wire coming out of it that needs to be then run into the center pole. Uh, I clamped it on top of this so that they're in, in the center of the bore of the blue one so that the wire would run through and then I have it um, attached internally here to something that's attached to the pole, these things, and that gets it, it spinning at the same rate as the motor. 
and that's what that's what allows it to, to get up to speed also to be at speed um, also over here I added a um, I added this uh, signal booster for DisplayPort uh, because this cable has to travel a long ways to get to the monitor and because you lose some signal strength going through a slip ring and I didn't want a degraded picture since this is a gaming PC. There's the bearing again, it's clamped on to the center pole. Um, I had to downsize the, um, the, uh, the center pole in order to get it into this, um, into this slip ring, otherwise the slip ring would be gigantic. Um, and so I, I just came up with the clamping mechanism there. Again, it's getting everything to rotate at the same speed as the center pole because when you're in the center pole region and things are spinning around, everything that's spinning at the same RPM as the center pole is stationary relative to everything else that's spinning in the position that it's at. And that's why you can have all these cables and you can do anything you want in the center area and it's as if it's standing still, although of course it's turning at um, up to 50 RPM. Down at the bottom we have the, um, the other two slip rings. They're mounted in the same way. The gold one is a power slip ring. Six lines in and out. It's actually supplying the power to the uh, computer power supply, which is mounted up here. And it's also, um, the power supply is also supplying power out through the slip ring to the fan controller, which is in the front I.O., and that allows the fans to be powered. There weren't enough signal wires to run the fans in to the computer, to the motherboard, where they could be controlled by the motherboard. So another compromise I had to make, um, you don't get uh, PC control of the fans. You have to adjust them yourselves. That's why the, that's why the fan controller is also there. But again, um, and then um, this is the, the, the little black one on this end is a USB 3 slip ring, and it's mounted in the same way. Um, the gold one is through bore, clamped onto the pole so that um, it rotates, and this is actually the stationary side, it rotates in the middle. Um, and then this is the stationary side of the USB 3 one, and its, uh, its wire runs through and is connected to this extension of the center pole. I did the same thing here where I did step down the size of the center pole in order to um, get a slip ring that wasn't huge and expensive um, there um, for, for getting the power in. Um, then I'm running this uh, USB, single USB 3 line out to a USB uh, 3 hub that's mounted on the rear electronics plate and I'll show you that later. That um, pretty much covers it. There is RGB on here. I, I don't um, just do RGB for RGB sake. I just couldn't resist the white strip that's running up it. I couldn't resist the um, the barbershop pole style of, of uh, lighting. This is going to be. I have got no idea what it's going to look like. I didn't. I didn't test it or anything. Um, so I'm I'm very curious to see what that's going to look like. Um, well, I guess the wires coming out. Here, um, this uh, is the power to the power supply. Here's the USB 3 connector to the motherboard. Um, and then here is the out power to the fan controller. And then on the signal side, the UBIT Ethernet comes in, plugs into the motherboard. The HD audio and power switch come out of here. And then display port for the video card which is mounted up here and at the top so it connects nicely to that um, but you'll see that later when they're mounted and I think that's enough for now probably too much um, hope uh, if you have any questions um, just leave them for me I'll be glad to answer and um, that's all I got for now thanks